Hello everyone, my name is Shorish Gupta. So today we are going to discuss another question which was, which was appeared in the exam on examination of uh, Cognizant. Hey you ready for the future tech? No UF is here. With premium prep materials, no need to fear. Cognizant, Accenture, TCS and more. We'll get you ready, open up that door. So the question is like this, you are given a line of vehicles V representing the integer array P, where each element of the array denotes the current petrol amount of each vehicle. In front of each vehicle is a petrol stand. You are also given another integer array S of the same length V, where each uh, element is either 1, 1 is representing the petrol stand has petrol and 0 is representing the stand is empty, there is no petrol. At every interval, each vehicle whose petrol stand has petrol doubles its current petrol amount and this process happens for n intervals. <coughs> you have to simulate this process for n intervals and your task is to find and return an integer array representing the updated petrol amounts of all vehicles. So the input specification like at the input 1 we will get the size v uh, we uh, take the value v <coughs> in uh, let it let it make as in i am taking it as let it be here v actually in the code i am just taking it as in and the input 2 is uh, an integer value okay the n is this one representing the number of vehicles input to an integer value n representing the number of intervals okay input 3 an integer array p representing the petrol amounts of each vehicle and input 4 an integer array s representing the petrol availability in the petrol pump okay or gas station so now <coughs> let's discuss one example here then i move to the code so suppose the now value of v is 5 so, uh, so I am just representing 5 as the size of the array p as well as the size 5 will be there for the <coughs> array s as well because both uh, 1 p is representing the petrol level of the 5 vehicles and s is representing the petrol availability of uh, five uh, petrol pumps so and two is representing the number of intervals and these are the uh, arrays this is p and this is s now we just need to check that here we can see that for the first car the petrol limit is one and the nearest uh, petrol pump the value is 1 it is representing that the petrol pump has the petrol the petrol is available in that one so for but for the second one it is not available so what will the other output as because we know the in number of uh, interval is 2 so we just need to multiply 2 of those elements of the array of p where those indexes of the array of p where in the same indexes of s the value 1 is present so for the first element I can see that in the uh, array S also the first element is 1 so we can easily make it double so doing 2 now coming to the second element of the array P <coughs> and the value is 2 but the second level, uh, element of the value uh, array is the value is 0 so we cannot change anything so it will be remain 2 only now coming to the third element and the third element I can see that the value of uh, P is 3 and the third element is 1 so we can dub make it double so I'm just multiplying 2 into, uh, with 3 it will be 6 coming for the four, fourth element here in the for the fourth element of s is 1 so we can easily multiply 2 with the fourth element of the array, array p so multiplying 4 with 2 it is 8 <coughs> but coming to the last one the last element of uh, s is 0 so that's why we can't uh, will not doing any change in the with the last element of the p 
so after the first interval the value will be like this again we will do the same thing same uh, we will check this array with this s so this is going to be our new array p so again we will check uh, uh, in the new <coughs> array the first element is 2 and in the s array the first element is 1 so i can easily multiply 2 uh, two with the first element similarly uh, for the second one we cannot do as because the second element of the array s is 0 coming to the third one we can easily multiply 2 with 6 as because the third element of x s is 1 it means the this petrol pump uh, like the petrol is available in this petrol pump coming to the fourth one <coughs> here also the same thing will happen because the fourth element is also 1 so it will be uh, mul we can easily multiply 2 with 8 so it will be 16 I'm sorry if you're not here <laughs> it will be 16 and the last one will not change because the last element of the array s is 0 so this is the whole clarification or explanation of this problem so let's move to the program then i want you to have the most loved most trusted prime materials for cognizant in which you will get all the recent aptitude questions dotnet java python coding questions with answers then sql html css javascript communication assessment help and mock test free mock test and interview experience everything is available as you can see students are giving us this feedbacks 4.4 stars and also you can see this is the feedback students are giving and let me show you what type of pdfs you will get so if you purchase this type of multiple pdfs you will get and uh, you can see this is the question and explanation are given also previous year questions recent questions and also screenshots of actual questions are available there so please visit topmentio slash techno underscore uf there you will get all the materials at a bunch okay so the link will be given in the description box please go through that so here what i have done i have just taken declared all the arrays so i am just giving the size representing it as n let it let's make it as v <coughs> now it is the k it will be n this is the enter of the enter the interval it i am taking the interval value in the n now here I'm just declaring these two uh, arrays. P is representing the petrol level in each vehicle. <coughs> and S is representing the petrol availability of each petrol pump. Initializing one variable, in integer variable J. And here I'm just taking the user input of both of these arrays p and s now what we need to do we just need to <coughs> do the checking so here what we can do so at first we have to check the number of intervals how many times it will happen so here also we have to do the nested loop uh, so why uh, so we just need to do uh, initialize two uh, loops here the outer loop will represent the number of intervals and the inner loop will represent the <coughs> iterations it will check this loop will check in this loop we will check that uh, whether the nearest uh, petrol pump uh, is uh, the pet uh, in the nearest petrol pump uh, the petrol is available or not so i'm just initializing one while loop you can also initialize it with uh, for loop as well j less than n so here i'm initializing the for loop i equal to 0 i less than v plus plus here just we will check if is i equal to equal to 1 <coughs> then only we will just multiply 2 
with the with the same uh, index element of the array p <coughs> okay and uh, here we just need to increase the value of j this is the only thing we need to do here nothing else what i am just doing the outer loop is representing the number of intervals and the inner loop is, ju is just representing the <coughs> checking in this inner loop we are just do the checking through this if condition whether the uh, nearest petrol pump uh, is available uh, petrol pump uh, has the petrol or not whether the petrol is available or not in the nearest petrol pump that the only thing we just need to check in this if condition and after that we have uh, we need to just <coughs> increase the value of j which will take count of the uh, number of intervals whenever the condition will reach it will terminate so this is the whole thing and after that we are just printing the result so let's run this code again so i'm just entering the size as 5 so it is representing the size of p and the size of uh, s and both enter the number of intervals i'm giving in, <coughs> interval is 2 enter the card details i'm giving the card details so first one is i'm giving 5 3 6 7 2 okay enter the gas station details now we need to give the gas station details as well i'm giving 1 1 0 1 0 so the result is coming as 20 and 12 okay i just need to change here the value of v so let's rerun this code again so i'm again, again giving the uh, size as 5 i'm giving the number of interval as 2 i'm giving <coughs> the card details 5 8 3 6 4 giving the gas station details providing the availability of uh, petrol in the gas stations or gas whatever it is that so the output is like this so what we have given 5 5 8 3 6 4 so let's go to here <coughs> 5 comma 8 comma 3 comma 6 comma 4 and the 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 so this is the two arrays now we just need to check whether <coughs> what will be the output so the, for the first one we can see the petrol is available so we are just simply multiplying by 2 making it 10 for the second one it is now it will not be changed 8 for the third one it will be changed as because the petrol pump uh, in the petrol pump the petrol is available so just multiplying by 2 it will be 6 for the fourth one also uh, I'll just multiply 2 with 6 the uh, multiplication result will be 12 and for the last one the petrol is not available so it will be remain same 4 this is the first iteration now for the second iteration we just need to do the same thing again <coughs> so for the first one the petrol is available for the second one petrol is not available for the third one petrol is again available for the fourth one petrol is again available but for the last one petrol is not available so this should be the output 28 12 24 4 so let's check the output 28 12 24 4 
2024-4. So this is the whole program. So <clears throat> I hope you understand understood this problem. So if you have any queries, just drop a comment in the comment section and we will try to resolve your queries. Thank you.